for coming out today. It was really heartwarming to see the crowd that we had in church today. I think it's one of the largest turnouts we've ever had in the church. I'd like to compliment our uh, Ladies Guild and the entire membership for coming out and uh, displaying your proud heritage and being part of a tradition that we're all so very proud of. At this time, I'd like to call on uh, Pat to say a few words on behalf of the uh, Feast Committee. Mr. Mayor, invited guests, fellow members, along with Mike, what Mike said, I think the full membership this year did a tremendous job. The ladies look beautiful. I think this year they probably outranked the men. They're probably, they're probably trying to tell us something, but we're not listening. But we like it very, very much. I'd like to address the Feast Committee. This has been one of our most outstanding feasts, I believe. One, because we've honored the most dedicated member of the society, our oldest living member. We paid him a tribute because he has paid us a tribute of teaching us everything of what was to be learned to put the festival together. Mr. Sandergoj has been an inspiration to the society and to the Peace Committee. When he is 100 years old, we are again going to dedicate the feast to him. And I can promise you we're going to have a real big one on your behalf. Again, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank each and every one of the Feast Committee for the, for the dedicated support that they have given Keep quiet! Everyone to put this together. What's everybody got to talk for? I hope you've had a good time. We still have another great night ahead of us. I think the mass was absolutely beautiful. There was nothing to be desired on it. Thank you very much. And let's remember, let's do it again. Thank you. You know, just before, uh, before we go on any further, I'd just like to say to the membership that uh, as my first year, as your president, you made me very proud with this turnout that you've had here this year. Thank you very much, and I'm proud to be part of it. I think we should just ask the Feast Committee to stand up and take a bow. The original Feast Committee, uh, Chairman Dom Savo, Co-Chairman Pat Iavini, Nick We have some sister societies with us this morning and we're very proud that they can be here with us. We look to, a, look to have a good relationship with them and to be close to them and to be united. I'd like to recognize Joe Gargano, the uh, from the uh, Santa Maria della Virginia. So, we have Tony Rocco and his beautiful wife from St. Prophemina. Tony. And from St. Andrews, Anthony Calavopi. Also, the president of the Ladies Guild, I'd like to call up and say a few words, Teresa Argento. Our good friend Ben the leader, find the guests at the head table, all the beautiful people from Santa Maria Motherland Society, and all the nice friends here this morning. 
I'd like to congratulate the terrific job that you've done this year. And also, I'm very, very happy that all of the societies are getting together and we're really showing beautiful love and friendship, and that's what life really is all about. And the I have a desire and a dream that I've had for many, many years now since St. Trophimina Trof Trof has reactivated, and also the Casella Mar organization, which we should include also. I, I have a dream that we're going to finally realize in the springtime. We're all going to get together, and we're going to have one big dinner with all of these designers. We're all going to get together, and since this was my idea, and I know that all of you will join me, we're going to ask our good friend, Ben Delito, he's going to be our honorary chairperson. Okay. He said yes, so this, we're all set. Now, can I ask the president of Santa Maria Motherland, the auxiliary, Nani, would you come forward, please? I have a little presentation.